Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am really good. I am back with an amazing Dollar Tree haul for you as always. And I'm just going to start like I typically do and show you what was in my thumbnail. Recently, they've had out all those Alani protein coffees. I think I picked up the mocha and the cappuccino. I never did find the vanilla. A lot of you were saying they had vanilla flavor. I have yet to find it, but I'm on the hunt for it because I'd like to try it. But right now in the store, they had these. They're called Fit Shake. And they are by Alani. It's written right here. They had several different flavors to choose from, and we got one of each. This is the cookie, Cookies and Cream Protein Shake. It's 12 fluid ounces. Look at the packaging on that. And let's see if I can find a Best Buy. I'm sure it's probably right in front of me. There it is. It is February of 24 on the Cookies and Cream. They also had... This one looked really interesting. Fruity cereal, also 12 ounce, also February of 24. Wonder if it tastes like Fruit Loops. And then they had, it says Munchies protein shake. So that sounds interesting. I don't know what that would be. It doesn't say on here anywhere what Munchies would be, but it looks like chocolate chip cookies and pretzels and caramel. So that sounds really cool to try. And it is February of 24 on that. So these were the three flavors that we found. We didn't see any others. If you guys know if there are others, please let us know. And it is, are they all the same? 140 calories, 20 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. Gluten-free. So I'm really curious to give these a try. I love protein shakes. That's a lot of the times for breakfast, lunch. I'm usually not hungry for breakfast, so I'll skip to lunch and I'll, I have protein shakes a lot. There's always protein shakes in the fridge. So these are interesting. Have you guys tried those? And what are your thoughts on them? Because I have not. And since we're kind of doing the food there, I'm gonna go ahead and just continue with that. They had um, their spice in their spice section, we needed some garlic powder. And this is our go-to. We pick up spices a lot from the Dollar Tree. I think they're a great value. And these are by Supreme Traditions, and it's a 2.5 ounce. And we never get garlic salt. We always just get garlic powder because we salt and pepper our food, so we don't buy garlic salt. And it's very good. We've used this a million times. And then the ingredients, it is just garlic powder. That is it, nothing else. So that'll last us quite a while. And you guys have been telling me, I showed the Hunt's ketchup in one of my last videos. You guys were telling me to try this. I knew this was on the shelf. I believe I mentioned it in that video where I showed the Hunt's. And several of you commented and said, give this a try, it is better. So I'm really curious to finish off the ketchup we have in the fridge right now and then I'm going to open this one before I open the new hunts because I am really curious to try this. It is vine ripe, vine ripe ketchup, 24 ounce squeeze tube container and it is made in the USA which I love that. Best if used by November of 24. So nice long shelf life on that and this says that it is distributed by Red Gold LLC from Elwood, Indiana, made and packed in the USA. So comment down below, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. But I know a lot of you said that it is very good and to give it a try. So I will do that. And then another protein drink, guys. And one of you was telling me about this. It is the Premier Protein, the Root Beer Float. High protein shake, 11.5 ounce. 30 grams of protein in this, and it is 160 calories, one gram of sugar, and 20 24 vitamins and minerals, and this is Premier Protein. Excellent brand. I buy this all the time. Around this time of the year, they always come out with specialty flavors. They do that a lot all, all year round, but this time of the year, they're going to come out with a, like a chocolate mint. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a chocolate mint. Oh, it is so, so good. And I, last year I actually found it after Christmas time on walmart.com and I bought a case of it and it's delicious. 
So Premier Protein is a wonderful brand. And yeah, I picked up two of these to give them a try. You had said, the one of you that had commented said that they are very good. So I picked up two of these. There was not very many on the shelf either. So if you're on the hunt, now is the time to look for them because they will be gone soon. $1.25 for this brand of protein shake, that's an excellent deal. And then they had in the baking section, these big bottles of the imitation vanilla. I personally use real vanilla. Allison makes it for me. She uses real vanilla pods, vanilla beans, and she makes homemade vanilla. So this I picked up to see, you know, if somebody else wants it, just to show you that it's out there. This is a big container of vanilla. It's 11 ounces, and I believe this is by Bakersfield. And Bakersfield, I believe, was it last year they came out with little bottles of the real vanilla? Was it the Bakersfield brand? I, I think so. And I remember I stocked up on several, several of those, and then Allison went ahead and made me homemade real vanilla. But I think this is great to have on the shelf. 11 ounces, excellent. So I'll see if one of the other kids wants this. Big container of vanilla. And it's, it's that time of the year, guys. It's baking season. And then the last of the food items. I was out of cookies. Store-bought cookies. I need to make some homemade cookies. I am so hungry for homemade chocolate chip. But I figured I'd pick these up just for now. And we haven't had these for a while. These are the Fudge Stripe by Oven Baked the shortbread cookies. These are delicious. We love all the items by Oven Baked. Almost every cookie at Dollar Tree, we enjoy. And this is a 13 ounce container and they got kind of mangled up in the bag, but they're the fudge stripes. They're delicious. I love having a couple cookies with a hot cup of coffee about two o'clock in the afternoon just to hold me over till supper time. Absolutely love them. I have a few more of the iced oatmeal cookies in the cookie jar right now. So pick this up to replace it. And I didn't have very many packs of cookies down on the shelf. I keep passing things along to the kids and grandkids. And I think I have one pack of the like Girl Scout cookie dupes. The ones that are chocolate with peanut butter in the center. Love those. I haven't opened those yet. But I, I need to make homemade cookies. All right, that is it for the food stuffs. And I wanted to show you this. I actually have a Timu order on the way and I picked myself up another pack of the long straws. Now I go to the Dollar Tree. These looked different. So I picked one pack up, I brought them home. These are the long straws. These will fit all of your super tall Stanley type cups, Stanley dupes, whatever you own. These are long, and it says on the top, everyday straws, and the thing is, it says the length on here as 10.25 inch. I think the 10.25 inch is just this, but then when you expand, when you pull them to expand them, they're like probably 14 inch, and you get 80 straws in here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull one out, and I will use it when I'm done, but it's this long, multicolor pack. And when you, when you pull it out, it extends that long. So these definitely fit in all of your big insulated mugs. I like them. They work great. So makes me happy. I, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have ordered them in my Timu order. But I wanted to have a backup pack of them. So I don't know if I'll keep this pack myself or if I'll pass it along to one of the kids because they all have the, the tall tumbler travel mugs too. So we'll see about that. And then I couldn't pass these guys up. There's I saw that this one got a little schmutzed. The, um, the lady that was checking me out wrapped them in newspaper and so I'm going to need to wash him up good. But these are mugs. And this is the snowman. I do not remember these from last year. I think these are new for this year, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. And I wanted to look on the bottom. I want to see, because you guys will ask if they are microwave safe and all of that. These say hand wash only, do not microwave. And I, don't, I can't tell who the maker is of these. I'm assuming, yeah, that's Royal, Royal Norfolk. 
But this one is the snowman. He has his little scarf on. And then they have Santa. And me personally, I don't like mugs that are shaped like this because they're so wa hard to wash. But I just couldn't pass them up. And they also had a gnome. But I didn't pick him up. And the thing is, they look a lot different in size. I don't know if you can see that from your angle, but it seems like the snowman mug is a lot smaller than the Santa mug. I don't know, but they're cute. But yeah, I didn't pick up the gnome. I'm just, they're cute, but I'm, I'm just over it. I'm over the gnome, I'm over all the writing, and I'm over the red truck. I'm just, I'm past it. All right, and then a while back, I showed those scent beads. I think one was like pumpkin spice and one was something else, and they had them in the little bead air fresheners, room fresheners. They also had it in a gel, which I still have not found, and I really don't need to now. And they also have it in the spray, room freshener spray. This was the scent that I was really looking for and the, the, the pine tree scent, because I think there's a pine scent I still have not found that in anything. This time they did have the room spray in the brown vanilla sugar scent. And it says sweet vanilla molasses, linen and room spray, and it's an eight fluid ounce trigger sprayer. It does have the lock feature on here. I wanted to smell it since I never had the opportunity to, and I refused to buy the gel beads again because they are worthless, guys. Just pass those by. I had one back here. This room's a good size room, but it's not super gigantic. When you were right on it, you could smell it. Anywhere else, no. So I thought, I'm gonna set it in our bathroom, which is a lot smaller than this. And I, I set it in the bathroom, nothing. You can't smell it. I actually put it on the windowsill in the bathroom, thinking that the sun, the warmth from the sun, would help bring out the scent, nothing. So that was a complete bust. But I wanna go ahead and smell this spray. Uh, it smells nice. I like the smell of the spray. So we're going to go ahead and spray it because I want to see how it sprays. Because if it's all thick and droppy and I won't like it. And there is a little lock feature. Do I lock it? or Oh, I, un I locked it. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. It seems like a finer mist. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of like water droplets. It smells nice. I'm sure this scent is not gonna last long. I believe one of you had commented and said that you had sprayed it in your bedroom, maybe on your, your comforter or something, and it the scent didn't last very long, that maybe you could barely even smell it the following morning. If it lasted for me till the following morning, that would make me happy because a lot of them don't even last that long. You, you're lucky to get 20 minutes out of it. But this smells nice. I like that. So yeah, this I'm, I think I'm going to put this upstairs in our bedroom or maybe in the upstairs bathroom. But like, I'm still smelling it in the air. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll get back to you on this to let you know my final thoughts on that. But from right now, that smells really good. And then I picked up some of these in the like beauty makeup section. These are the Sassy and Chic, and you get three pieces in here. And there were two different styles to choose from. So I got one of each. And they're, they, they're called Nail Art Tools. And each one has something three different items. This one has the fan brush, the angle brush, and the round brush. And that brown round brush looks very, very tight, very compact, which is nice. The little fan brush that you can do designs on it, you can put glitter and spread glitter. The little angle brush for more detailed work. And then this one has the nail art dotting tool and two art brushes. So you can see that little tool right there has a little dot on the end. That's to make little designs on your nails and then two different types of just little brushes. So I went ahead and got one of each of these because I've mentioned it in a couple videos now. I wanna start designing my own nails again. I love the Kiss brand nails. I, I buy them all the time, I use them all the time. I love the quality of them. But you can also get the Kiss 
nails that are just plain, solid color, and then you can paint them yourself. You know, put little designs and everything on. And I loved doing that. So I wanna get back into that again. Now that the winter is coming and I won't be getting outside as much, I'll have time to do all these little things that, that I enjoy doing. So I thought these would be nice just to throw in my little nail kit. I have one of their like plastic shoe boxes that I keep all of my extra supplies, things like that, tools and things in. So that's where these will go. Another great little gift basket, guys. Stocking ideas, just get a bunch of nail stuff. I think I may have said that in yesterday's video or the day before. So many name brand nail polishes out right now and they actually have artificial nails that are plain that you can pick up if somebody wants to design their own. I think it's great. I love the Dollar Tree because you just never know what you're gonna find. And yes, some things are a complete bust, but you know, at least it's only $1.25 to find that out. You could have bought the same item at you know the big grocery stores and spent $5 for that item and found out that it's a complete bust. So, and it's why I like to give you my opinions on things when I know something completely fails for me and I've seen a lot of you commenting in the comments that that was a bust it's why I always go ahead and let you know that you know I didn't like it either and just stay away from it like those air freshener beats that was that was worthless all right everybody that is it yep I showed the cookies so that is it for this haul I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away move along with my day I hope you're doing well if you like this type of thing, please subscribe. Please check to make sure you're still subscribed. And yeah, I'll talk to you again here really soon. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.